guys, we are out here going to dig a Mack truck out the woods. It is currently fall here in Tennessee. Look at the leaves. It oh, is yeah. so beautiful. I've only been up here in Tennessee to ride side by sides so this time of the year for like a weekend. But we're watching all the leaves change all the colors. Oh, Look at this. Look at it. Show the people, Ryan. Me too, yeah. It's so nice. We're following my buddy Justin out here to these in the middle of these, these woods out here. There's an old Mack truck and International and some other equipment out here. We bought two trucks, sight unseen. There's some other stuff out here, I guess, that may be for sale. We're going to go out here and check it out. I don't know if this bridge is rated for this year. Full soon. Woo. So we got a pole saw with us. He said it's going to get a little hairy down in here. Got to trim some trees up or something. We need to cut these stacks down. Lower the stacks or they're just above the cab so we can get in and out of anywhere in this thing. Like what was on Brandis originally? Yes. Some shorties. Sorry. Thank <laughs> you. Alright, let's see what, how woolly boogery it gets down in here. Alright, here we are. We're going completely off road. Like going in the woods, son. Dude. Wow. All right, so we're meeting this guy. He's going to unlock some gates or something, he said. <laughs> this is sick. Yeah. We got Muscle Man out here going to cut some trees down so we can get out here with, this, with the big em up truck. <laughs> Some jars and stuff in there. Oh. We brought some hired muscles out here today. We got the old Josh Sewell down the pole saw. So we're walking back down in here to see where these trucks are at. It's all kinds of haunted houses we walk by. Let's check those out. Ryan says he wants to go hunting for spiders, maybe? No. Not a chance. <laughs> you got a tripping fall. <laughs> oh boy. How far is it? What's crazy is like, if we are if we weren't here to pull this stuff out of here, it's like never leave, never leave. So our mag truck was like, this is cool. <laughs> this one looks like it's in way better shape. Still has the wind on. B75, and now what engine does it have on? Because ours needs an injection pump right now, right? Oh no. No. Dude, someone jerked all the stuff off on it. The crackheads probably came out here. It's got the same engine. That's a shame, ain't it? Yeah, it is. So this is obviously a wheel at start, but we're not gonna try to start it up out here in the woods. We're gonna winch this thing out of here back to the shop but dude this thing just looks sick bro. it's got two gear shifts on it so it's probably got the quadruplex transmission in it dude what are the chances of us pulling two of the same trucks out of the woods here in Tennessee it's crazy this one's got fenders is that? Dang. Dude, look at the chain. Yeah, you can see the chain. I know. Well, that's because it's a PTO driven winch, you know. Like, these things don't care. They will pull any. Supposedly, this truck was driven in here and parked. Like, it wasn't, like, abandoned or, I mean, obviously it's been abandoned, but it wasn't, like, a drove in here or pulled in here because it was junked out. It was drove in, driven in here and parked. Well, if someone crackhead stole the radiator, they probably stole the diesel out of there too. 
Yeah, she she dry. I think. Oh yeah, really dry. But wouldn't it be crazy if this one has the injection pump we need for our other truck? Oh yeah. Wonder what's in the box. Let's see if it's got batteries. Battery box. Here, let's open the hood for you. Let's see, this one has an aluminum hood. Ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, it's got the same injection pump. What are the chances, bro? If it's not locked up, it's got a good chance of firing up. This is a shame. All right, so here's the Mac, right? The glass is all in good shape. This is so cool. Oh, I miss doing videos like this. We went down in there next to them shifters. Yeah, there's the transmission diagram up there. 20 speed quadruplex. Hmm. Supposedly these are super rare, but what are the chances of us finding another one? I think that's pretty wild. Seventy-three. The date is like a tag for it. All right, so there's another truck down here somewhere—a water truck. We're gonna have to find a way to get it out too. Cause we bought both. They said take two or take nothing. Let's go figure it out. This? Probably this old washing machine. That's porcelain. <laughs> so someone used to live in here in two thousand. 2005. What does the calendar say up there? Zoom in on the calendar. Can you see the year? I keep zooming. Can't see it. Be right there. It should be. Yeah, I can't see it. We can walk around there. Yeah, right there. You got toilet seat in there. This is There you go, Ryan. You, you, you can poop together. Look at that. <laughs> Two toilets. That's what it is, look. Dang. That's crazy. Some carpet on there. What's that doing? Maybe it's going to be like an animal barn or something. Maybe. There's a bunch of trash. There's a door right here. Huh? You think it's haunted? It's probably haunted. At night, 100%. Oh, there's old bottles here. This is definitely like an animal barn. Old Miller Light King. This is the top of the old one. No. Nope. Not that old. Well, they said like 2005 was the last time someone lived here, so 20 years. <laughs> We say that like it hasn't sounded a long time ago. Yeah, literally. Yeah, very nice stuff of modern society. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at the floor. Yeah. Look at the floor. No, I wouldn't jump. No, what does the calendar say there? Dude, it smells so bad. You fall for the camera phone. Okay. <laughs> It says, oh, I can't find it. Find it. Nineteen ninety six. There's stairs oh, to go there's upstairs. upstairs. Spooky. Old toaster. Oh. Potted meat. Mm. Expiration date. Doesn't say. It's still good. Go ahead and give it to Justin. Yep, there's a crib in there. The living room. Look at this old magazine I found right here. Dang. Dang, dude, look at that Chrysler. Brand new. Got, oh, Bill Clinton in the front of it too. I wonder where Monica Lewinsky is. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, you should not look too bad back in the day. No. For old pantsuits. Go out and get Justin some potted meat.
Dude, yeah. yeah it's it's Justin thought it was a this might be something we have to drive out of here. Dude, this would be so sick to drive out there. But is it gas or diesel? Probably gas. Yeah, I think it's gas. Well, it could be problematic. Might have been a full barrel carbonator out here. It's hard to really. Nope, 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 don't touch it. Let's get a picture. We're just gonna open the hood. Yeah. Got a single barrel carburetor, small block. Son, I don't think this one's driving out of here. This one might just live its days out right here. <laughs> right the whole battery. Some rats don't have their way with the battery. <laughs> get it going enough to drive it out of here maybe if it ain't locked up yeah she ain't moving at all this something's gonna be pulled out here like a dozer <laughs> crazy this stuff is really in here and parked and forgot about it, ain't it? literally yeah it's a shame look at them see cto driven winch it looks like it might have a two-speed rear in it. See that uh, switch right there? Yeah. It probably does have a two-speed rear axle. Yep. So see right down there on the rear axle where the drive shaft is? Yeah. Right there, there's a little electric motor there that would engage a higher gears or a lower gear so you can use this thing in the fields or drive it down the highway. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Trying to look at here and see what year this thing is. I'm sure someone knows just by looking at it. 79, the ninth month of 79, it says. It's pretty cool. I wonder what's in the glow box. I don't know. Well, I, we're not going to buy this one, so we probably shouldn't mess with it because there ain't no hope of getting this thing. And we really don't want a gold gas burner, you know? But if someone's interested in it, you can drop me an email or call me. And uh, we'll, we'll pull it out if someone wants to buy it. But it's just not my cup of tea. What about you? You think it's your cup of tea, Randy? No. Yeah. We did pass a really cool Hobart welder up the hill down there. We're going to go see if we can uh, check that out. They said that's for sale, too. Dang. All right. I'll only you open the hood on this one, Ryan. Yeah, I'm okay. You want to get those uh, solids and shut them on there? That open You think? Yeah. Dang, that's ready to go. Wild, man. Sugar scoop. Look at that. Strike one of them babies off. I bet they still win. It might be a little damp now. <laughs> Put them in the oven. Well, you ain't cutting it. Don't put it in that, though. I know you are cutting it. Think it's going to cut it. generator. Old 16 horse per bridge of street. And there you go, Ryan. You ready? That thing don't look like it ain't got no hours on it, does it? See that spider there? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to do something. It ain't got no hour meter. How many cylinders is that? Huh? How many Six cylinders. cylinders. Pump in? It's a slant six. I thought so. Small motor, but I don't know if that's a Chrysler engine or what. Probably could. It's gonna be cute, Quit. 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 I bet you it's a Ford 300. No, it's a Ford. Yeah, I guess Ford had slant six too, didn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. Well, yeah, or cut all the wire. The radiator's gone. That whole barrel's yeah, gone. Yeah, radiator's gone. <laughs> what would it take it? Because it was a copper. Probably a copper radiator. Yeah. That's that barrel right there probably got 300 pounds copper. Yeah, you just gotta cut that thing open and go through all of it now. That's cool. 
Check the oil in it before we try to fire it up. Shoot. Dang. Still looks nice and molassesy. <laughs> yeah, these what are these bugs? Gnats. Gnats. No matter what engine it is. Maybe someone can tell us. Get them a closer shot of that thing here, Randall. Imagine back in the day, like, dang, got us a brand new Hobart welder. Crunk that thing up. That is pretty cool, ain't it? Just sitting out here in the wood. Yep. Probably gonna sit out here forever. Probably. Here's the model. Oh, here you go, right there. 300 amps. G300. Chrysler 170. Seems like an awfully tiny engine. Yeah. Too bad it ain't got like the hour meter on it for me. Still got the key in it. Awfully ashamed. Here's the plan. We're gonna get turned around here and get up the hill. We're gonna try to winch this thing up to where I want it to be because this ground's pretty loose in here. We're gonna have to drag this thing by the front to uh, get it pulled out of here. So, and this one's got the same style front axle underneath it that our other Mac did. And it was not the easiest to grab onto at all. seen a couple comments people are like you guys need mics believe me we have three sets and somehow ryan has managed to break all three they just get used way too much so they're not exactly made for being out here in the woods and doing stuff and getting put in your pocket and getting put in ryan's pocket and breaking them anyhow Gonna go anywhere we put that in the ground, you think it? Oh, it'll go in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Now, granted, we're not moving that much weight, but I don't want to 
want this thing sliding down the hill. Because Ryan's going to be in the truck steering it. No. Nah. That's why I brought you. You get to put the Zach lift to work, son. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's anchor this thing on the ground. Dude, this is going to be cool. You ain't done this before. Get this wind drawn out of here and uh, we'll go from there. Dude, look at the tires. This thing is not steering. Well, it'll it'll turn as you, as you. Oh, it'll do whatever the heck I tell it to. What are you talking about, dude? Those look like some kind of a tow bar they have. I don't know how I feel about hooking to those hook points on there. Maybe we can take this thing out. There you go. Alright, go re-engage our, our winch, son. Actually, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, I'll it's, do it's it. Just hop in the front. <laughs> Sit in there. I'm not sitting in there, son. Woo! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got this thing turning a little bit. Those legs on that truck ate down into the ground. Like they sunk down in there. Alright, Ryan, I'm gonna keep winching on it. Y'all guys check this thing out. So I took some pressure off of it. These things are the real deal, son. <laughs> Look at that. Watch, watch this truck as we as I pull on it. Getting down into there. I don't know about the hook on the front, so I'm kind of like backing up a little bit. <laughs> watch out for them spiders, old son. Are you good? Because all the weight's off the front. Yeah, right there. Don't turn no more. This is a long haul back to uh, the shop with these old tires on the back. You have air yeah, you got air yeah, but them things are like bias flies. They're hard as a rock. Just we ain't gonna have to air them up. Dude, look at the truck though. Dang. It's definitely got some oomph going on it right now, that's for sure. Good thing we flipped those legs over. Dude, put this thing in high gear. We ain't got all day. Oh, it's probably in gear, actually. We didn't check that. The parking brake? The brakes are probably caged. No, I don't think it is. Move the shifters, make sure they move side to side. Just pull that big one back, straight back. This one? Yep, there you go. Make sure our hook's still holding, holding fast. And we're good so far, right there. both tires we just got one back tire not spinning because i don't think these things had parking brakes back in the day keep just keep steering the straight steer it to the right now yeah we just got one brake stuck we smack that thing with the hammer it'll break loose or start dragging it down the road no nah, i'll just pick it up off the ground drag it by the front How you feeling? Feeling all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Is that rat still in there anywhere? I hope not. I, mean, I ain't afraid of the rat. I just, I just don't want to fight it all. Oh, okay. Quit. All right, keep on. Pop in the truck. Just start getting it straight behind the back of the truck there. Yeah, it says 73 on Yeah. I know. All right, don't, don't go turning that. Huh? The speedometer moved? It's got what? It's only got 15,000. That's it? Dang. Turn the wheel, turn the left. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it loose and hook the other hook on the other side.
That one don't look like it's gonna do much if I hook to it. It's probably gonna come right off. Make sure it's completely in gear. Are you sure? All right, we got this thing pulled all the way up here to the under lift. We're gonna see if we can get underneath here and uh, grab onto that axle. It's not the easiest thing to do with the way this axle. This thing got a sway bar? The heck? I think this thing's got a sw- Oh, those are shocks. What in the world? Some kind of a shock absorber there, maybe? Someone tell me what that is, I don't know. Hurricane shock. It's got power steering on it, though. I put it in gear. Ryan, if this thing goes down the mountain. I put it in gear. Good. Right. And that door ain't late, is it? Is it in gear? No, it wasn't. It's gonna be cool. I'm probably gonna get in the back of the Ford. Yeah? Yep. Alright. Am I ready? We got this thing out of the woods. Time to strap her down. The more I look at it, I mean, it might start. I don't know. The biggest yeah. thing is to make sure this injection pump ain't froze up. Because this could be a solid candidate to take two trucks and make one. Whether we have the time for that project, we find someone else to do it, or we sell both of them and someone can make one really cool truck out of two. But 
Now it's out of the woods. It really ain't in that bad of shape. It looks way better than the one we got at the shop. Oh, huh? yeah, 100%. Way better. Too bad your Spidey friends have already departed. Yep. Dang. Too bad. Too bad. Ain't no good place to hang the light bar. We're going to the bottom, I guess. Well, there you have it. We got safety chains on. We got our light bar on. I looked at pulling the drive shafts or action shafts. We got like 10 miles to go down the road. We're not going fast. Transmission will be just fine. Just fine. Dang, there's another one. There's always cool stuff going on around here. People cruising out here in the mountains. Always old Ford Model T's. Dude, these things are rolling deep, son. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Look at this one. This one's a convertible thought, up here. We thought we had something old. They're all convertible, you ding dong. Look at the drop top on that one. That's cool. <laughs> all 25 horsepower of them. So we just got back to shop, and Nathan can do nothing but talk trash on our new project. This guy can't even show up to work clean. He showed up like that. He's just hard work. Dude, check that out. Dude. That's an old can, bro. And it's full. Look at that top on it. Oh, it's Mountain Dewski. I wish you could see the date on it. You could probably sell that for like a thousand dollars or something. We'll mail it in a box to Cletus or something. There you go. <laughs> oh. Fire! Come on. <laughs> you need to quit. You think these are root beer cans? They have lids on them? I don't know. Haveline can? This doesn't look that old. Not as old as that Mountain Dew can. But you never know. What is this? Parts for like a pump or a drill. It's pretty crazy. The battery boxes are all still on the same. But see, this in here is like the transmission is up there. But what the heck is that? Unless that's another. That probably powers the wind. It's another transmission, right? I think so. You like how I, I rolled up our power cord here, there, Junior? Yeah. You know what that is, right? Yeah, it's a big freaking winch. This right here. It's a spool. Yeah. It's a spool, so you can actually put a rope to that. Yeah, and then power it off of something else, like on them old tractors. See how it's got. Oh, gosh. Freaking light, I swear. This one may have a working clutch pedal. This one might start a lot easier than the other two. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and get the truck fired up and get this thing off the lift. And let's at least see if the engine's locked up. But there will be a part two of this video where we get this thing hopefully cheached. Pull started. We're gonna find a way to get it started. We just gotta decide which one of the two is of the best. Let's get it unloaded. Brian says this thing ain't gonna air up. What'd you say? Oh, this thing stinks. Woo! You can smell that tire. I'm not kidding. I can't smell nothing. Can't build the up enough. So Ryan said it ain't gonna air up or something. It is, look at the tire. Ooh, what I tell you, boy. Okay. Huh. I thought we were using fire. Biscuit boy. I thought we were using fire or something. Biscuit boy. Ooh. Ooh. That felt great. Did it? <laughs> you okay? Ah. You did the same thing when you put I it in there. Oh, fudge. Mother trucker. trucker. Yeah, that looks like it hurts. Mother liquor. It's okay, these are still sore. You know, we try so hard not to cuss in videos, we're gonna just use any all of the alternatives to everything. Or we could just say you mother liquor. Dude, she's aired up. And you got water coming out. You're talking that. You got snake. oil coming out. You're talking that bull smack. Oil coming out of your tires, dude. You get tires coming out of your oil. This 
muddy water. So like when our parents talked about, we used to float down the river on inner tubes. What about tubes that are semi-truck tires? Uh-oh. But this was taking air too. Now, I can guarantee they're probably eventually gonna leak out. Let's let this thing down and see what it does. Right Why you didn't air these up while we're out there dragging it up on the, on the thing, right? I told you. I was, I was too busy staring at it. You're like, oh, it's not going to air up. Too busy steering. Yep. That doesn't hold air very well, though. Huh? Just going to air it up some more. You got to be careful not to put too much in it. They might blow up on our face. Blow up. Yeah, the butterfly does are working. So I think this has the same engine, no turbo. I think it's the same injection pump. We're not going to start it. But what we're gonna do is find a socket that fits this front <laughs> bolt here. And try to turn the engine over and see if it's locked up. What do you think? I don't think I just do. Or you just put it in gear and shove it back and forth. Good. Well, you're going to have to wait to find out in the next video. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below if you missed doing some old pulling abandoned trucks out of the woods. It's hard to find these things. And I cannot believe we found the same body style truck. So this is a B75? What is that worth it? B73. B73. And this truck's a B61. So I'm going to do some research. I'm not sure the real differences other than. You can see that one's got Tim Lug hubs on it. And this has got the Dayton style old school wheels on it. So quite a bit different. And these are like a 20, 22 inch and those are like a 20 inch wheel I'm pretty sure. So quite a bit of differences. Quite a bit, but not really. Air cleaners look a little different. Yeah, I mean, there are some differences looking at it now. But nonetheless, I think a lot of the parts are interchangeable. Something I want to talk about. So the Mac V8, right, is extremely similar to the Scania V8. Like, I think they were like, or, the origins were tied in somehow, right? But look at this. So <laughs> Mac's axle hubs, these, these hubs here, are very similar to a Scania. You pull this off, and I'm pretty sure a shaft just slides out, and you have the hub to put back on. I don't know. We should tear one apart one day and figure it out. But Comment down below. Do you guys think this thing's going to crank up one day? Sorry for the loud forklifts in the background. We have a working business here. Anyhow, see you guys later. Peace.